If it's absolutely necessary to have it on you, which it likely is if you frequent certain regions to preserve your freedom and well-being, it's imperative that you maneuver in a certain manner. Don't let the fact that you're in possession of a firearm cloud your judgment. Having the ability to snuff something out and place somebody in fear in a fraction of a second can go to your head if you don't place your ego in check. They did not stop producing guns when they made yours. It would be in your best interest to keep it humble. Mainly because if you do, and you got to lay into a motherfucker, it was well deserved. And not because you overreacted. If you're going to be out here engaging in certain activities, try working on your aim. Too many babies getting hit, too many bystanders getting smurfed, dog. You ain't getting no points for that shit. What if that was one of your little nieces or nephews or sons or daughters or cousins or whatever? That shit ain't cool. You can very easily research how to properly aim and fire a weapon. A good portion of you niggas out there don't even hold them right. Shit, it's no wonder y'all hitting everything but the intended targets. Y'all jump off in the crowd and hit everybody but the person you was gunning for. Meanwhile, that motherfucker that hit the cut, he gone. Because you got a couple civilians over here laying on the ground dead. Never place any faith or trust in individuals who don't keep their word. If they ain't got no problem with going back on their word, they ain't got no problem with driving a knife in your back. Dishonorable motherfuckers cannot be relied upon. If you can't trust a person to keep true to their word, you can't trust them at all. Whole time, these are red flags we tend to ignore. Certain patterns of behavior should put you on notice. Motherfuckers not standing on their word is definitely one. It's hard to get shit accomplished when you can't rely on the individuals around you. Depending on the circumstances, a motherfucker not keeping their word is a lack of consideration. Because on the flip side, shit outside their control can prevent them from keeping their word. But outside of that, fuck them. Because a real motherfucker going to take the time to fill you in on what's going on. They ain't going to keep you in the dark, waiting in anticipation, none of that. A real motherfucker going to keep it a stack with you and communicate. Whereas fake motherfuckers ain't got no problem telling you one thing and then doing the exact opposite. Motherfuckers rocking like that, they ain't got no principles. They don't abide by the code of conduct. Having motherfuckers like that in the mix will slow your progression for sure. Keep your word at all times. And if for some reason you are unable to, communicate. It's just that simple. Keeping your word shows people you're trustworthy and reliable. And actually worth fucking with. And that allows you to bust moves off your face card alone. Because motherfuckers know you're good for it. And when you say something, they have the peace of mind of knowing it's going to get done. That's priceless. Have that through on any commitments you make. And see to it that those around you do the same. Keeping true to what you say is a sign of integrity. A quality often overlooked, but desperately needed in order to be effective as a unit.